I mean, in normal circumstances, for most purposes, you go with the expert. But are experts always right? Are they guaranteed to be right? And here's where we come to paradigm shifts, where expertise can turn into a liability. If we consider how knowledge changes over time from the perspective of either Karl Popper or Thomas Kuhn, Popper is basically saying his, his shtick is falsificationism. Science, empirical science, can never rest on previously proven results. It must always challenge and retest things that are taken for granted. Kuhn's point is that science proceeds by adopting wholesale kind of packages of theories, assumptions, and perspectives called paradigms. And sometimes the old paradigm has to break and be smashed to make way for the new. So he's talking about like the shift from a geocentric model of the solar system and universe to a heliocentric one. The shift from Newtonian theories of gravity to Einsteinian ones. So in those cases, being too locked in, being too expert in the old paradigm that's about to give way, it ceases to be an asset. It's now a liability. So we must compare the education, experience, and habits of thought tied to the reigning paradigm, the status quo of thinking, versus the open-mindedness and the innovative thinking necessary to envision the emerging paradigm. This is where Sam's thinking outside the box comes back in. I'm gonna now read you a quote from Machiavelli, The Prince, chapter 25, the one on fortune. He is happy who adapts his mode of proceeding to the qualities of the times. And similarly, he is unhappy whose procedure is in disaccord with the times. While Machiavelli is talking about caution and daring and war and politics, we can apply the same thought to cautious orthodoxy and daring innovation in how one approaches the reigning paradigm. In other words, in times of normal science, caution and orthodoxy are rewarded and that's most of the time. While in times of revolutionary science, daring and innovation are rewarded. You even get to wear your hair in the like flakiest hairstyle ever, and you're the rock star of physics. Thus, the question arises, when do conventional expertise and experience become liabilities rather than assets, stifling limits rather than shortcuts to success? It's break time.